Hey Life Pixers, hope you're having an awesome day. Are you ready to rewire your brain for considering another person's point of view? I think this one is so important for marriage and I don't think you need me to tell you that, but it's actually one of the cognitive functions. Yes, there are 28 cognitive functions, 28 things to help us think efficiently and effectively and ultimately affect every single thing that we're doing in our lives. If one of them is weak, there's a reason why we're having problems with other things. Now, this one is actually in our output phase where we're telling the world what we know and what we think. On the previous episode, Andrew and Nancy were talking about interrupting and understanding the masculine and feminine energy and how we work biologically. We're just so different. I was like, this is the perfect time to discuss considering another person's point of view because this one I find is extra hard for some reason for people really to be able to do it if they have a hard time with it they just need to improve it a little bit it's a little bit easier but if someone like doesn't do it at all and their cognitive efficiency is like basically by zero with this then it's extra extra hard so I thought like this would be perfect I was like okay how am I going to explain it and here it was explained for me when we understand that there is actual differences. People can have different points of views simply because they are female or male, or they have different backgrounds growing up, or they're just a different person. Even if you're twins, even if you're born in the same family, even if you have the same birthday, lived in the same room and everything, you are each different. And so you would have different perspectives. Obviously then you would have much more of the same, but there would also be many, 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 many differences. So If you want to improve it and you want to rewire your brain for considering another person's point of view, so that way you can actually understand your partner better, I'm going to give you two suggestions. One is go and study more the differences between men and women. It's really big. It's really biological, as you see. Number two, we're going to make it really, really concrete. Instead of just saying, consider another person's point of view, I'm going to give you an actual thing for you to be able to consider the other person's point of view. And that is to watch the other person's movie. When I am talking right now, you're listening to this podcast, you are having a movie being played in your brain of everything that I'm saying from your point of view. Okay. I have this thing, literally images. Some people don't have images, but that's a different story for a different time, but they have this movie you have in general, um, some sort of scenario playing on in your mind. When you're talking to someone, you have your own personal movie playing in your brain. You're hearing, you are listening, you're taking in everything that they're saying based on your perspective. But next time you're talking to your husband or next time you're talking to your wife, let's do something a little differently. Press pause on your movie and press play on the other person's movie. Literally stop. You'll get back to your movie as soon as you're done listening to them. Right now, go into their shoes Pretend you're watching the movie. Pretend you're actually seeing the situation from their point of view. Stand in their shoes. Watch their movie. What do you see? That is being able to consider another person's point of view. Doesn't mean they're right. Doesn't mean you're agreeing with them. It means that you're able to see it and you're able to work through it and see what makes the most sense for this situation. Go and practice it. It takes time, but can actually also be really, really fun. If you're ready to rewire your brain, even more, head over to lifepixuniversity.com forward slash your brain rewired and get yourself on the wait list. Bye for now. And I'll see you on the next episode. That's all for this episode of the Life Fix University podcast, but I have a huge favor to ask of you that will not only support the show, but will also help the people you love most. We are striving for 1 million downloads by the end of 2025, and we can't do this without your help. If you love this episode, please share it with two of your family and friends so they too can rewire their brains to have an extraordinary marriage. It was awesome spending time with you, and I'll see you on the next episode.